Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Grilled fish, fresh fish, such as tilapia or mackerel, seasoned with spices and grilled over an open flame or charcoal fire, resulting in smoky and delicious flavors. Grilled fish is a popular street food and culinary delight in Cameroon. It is enjoyed for its simplicity, delicious flavors, and the ability to highlight the natural taste of the fish. Here's more information about grilled fish in Cameroon, fish selection, various types of fish are used for grilling, depending on availability and regional preferences. Common fish varieties used for grilling in Cameroon include tilapia, mackerel, catfish, and bream. Freshness is key to achieving the best flavor and texture, seasoning. The fish is often seasoned with a blend of spices, herbs, and marinades to enhance its flavor. Common seasonings include salt, black pepper, garlic, ginger, thyme, and chili powder. Some variations may incorporate local spices or herbs to add depth and a unique twist to the flavor profile. Grilling method, the fish is typically grilled over an open flame or charcoal fire. It can be cooked on a grill grate, wrapped in banana leaves, or placed directly on the grill grates. The grilling process imparts a smoky flavor and caramelizes the fish's surface resulting in a crispy and slightly charred exterior, basting and moisture. To keep the fish moist and prevent it from drying out during grilling, it is common to baste it with oil, butter, or a marinade. This adds extra flavor and helps retain moisture, resulting in tender and succulent grilled fish. Serving, grilled fish is often served hot off the grill, either as a standalone dish or as part of a larger meal. It can be accompanied by various condiments and side dishes. Popular accompaniments include spicy tomato-based sauces, chili peppers, sliced onions, fresh herbs, lemon wedges, and a side of steamed rice, plantains, or grilled vegetables. Poulet DG, a popular Cameroonian dish consisting of sautéed chicken, plantains, and vegetables, all cooked together in a flavorful sauce. Poulet DG is a popular Cameroonian dish that combines sautéed chicken with plantains and vegetables, all cooked together in a flavorful sauce. The name Poulet DG stands for Director General, which translates to General Manager in French, symbolizing a luxurious and special dish. Here's more information about Poulet DG chicken preparation. Poulet DG typically uses chicken pieces such as drumsticks, thighs, or a whole chicken cut into portions. The chicken is marinated in a mixture of spices, herbs, and seasonings which can include garlic, ginger, onion, thyme, paprika, and bouillon powder, among others. The marination helps to infuse the chicken with flavor, sautéing and cooking. The marinated chicken is first sautéed in a hot pan with oil or butter until it becomes browned and slightly crispy on the outside. This helps seal in the flavors and adds a nice texture. The chicken is then set aside while the other ingredients are prepared, plantains and vegetables, plantains which are a staple in Cameroonian cuisine, are sliced and added to the pan, along with a selection of vegetables such as bell peppers, onions, and sometimes carrots. The plantains and vegetables are sautéed until they become tender, sauce and seasonings. A rich and flavorful sauce is prepared separately, which usually includes tomato paste, garlic, onions, spices like thyme and curry powder, and sometimes a touch of chili for heat. The sauce is added to the pan with the sautéed chicken, plantains, and vegetables, coating them and simmering together to meld the flavors. Garnishes and serving, Poulet DG is often garnished with chopped fresh herbs such as parsley or cilantro for added freshness and visual appeal. It is served hot and can be accompanied by rice, couscous, or other grains. Poulet DG is a complete and satisfying meal on its own, combining protein, carbohydrates, and vegetables. Suya, grilled skewers of spicy marinated meat, such as beef, chicken, or goat, seasoned with a blend of spices and served with onions and chili peppers. Suya is a popular street food in Nigeria and other West African countries, including Cameroon. It consists of skewered and grilled meat, typically beef, that has been seasoned with a special blend of spices and roasted to perfection. Suya is known for its rich flavor and spicy kick. Here's more information about suya, meat selection. Suya is traditionally made with beef, although other meats such as chicken, goat, 
or offal can also be used. The choice of meat is typically sliced thinly or cut into small chunks to ensure even cooking. Spice blend. The key to suya's distinct taste is the spice blend used for marinating the meat. The blend typically includes ground peanuts, groundnut, chili peppers, ginger, garlic, onion powder, paprika, and a combination of other spices and herbs. This spice blend is known as yaji or suya spice. It adds a flavorful and slightly spicy kick to the meat, marination. The meat is generously coated with the suya spice blend, ensuring it is well seasoned and infused with the flavors. Some variations may involve adding a little oil or a splash of vinegar or lemon juice to help the spices adhere to the meat and enhance its tenderness, skewering, and grilling. The seasoned meat is then threaded onto skewers, commonly made of metal or wooden sticks. The skewered meat is grilled over an open flame such as a charcoal grill or an open grill grate. It is cooked on high heat, with regular turning to ensure even cooking and to achieve a charred and smoky exterior. Serving, suya is typically served hot off the grill. It is commonly enjoyed as a street food snack or as a main course. Suya is often served with sliced onions, tomatoes, and cabbage or lettuce for freshness and added texture. It can be eaten on its own or accompanied by sides such as sliced bread, yaji, additional spice mixture for dipping or spicy peanut sauce. Puff puff, deep-fried dough balls made from a yeast-based batter, often flavored with sugar, nutmeg, and sometimes stuffed with fillings like chocolate or jam. Puff puff is a popular street food and snack in Cameroon and other West African countries. It is a deep-fried donut-like pastry made from a simple batter of flour, sugar, yeast, and water. Puff Puff is loved for its fluffy texture and sweet flavor. Here's more information about Puff Puff, batter preparation. The Puff Puff batter is made by combining flour, sugar, yeast, and water. The ingredients are mixed together until a smooth and elastic dough is formed. Some variations may include additional flavorings like vanilla extract or grated nutmeg for added taste. Proofing, after mixing the batter, it is left to rest and rise for a period of time usually about an hour or until it doubles in size. The proofing process allows the yeast to ferment and create air pockets in the dough, resulting in a light and airy texture, deep frying. Once the batter has risen, it is ready for deep frying. Vegetable oil or palm oil is heated in a deep pot or fryer. Small portions of the batter, typically using a spoon or hand, are dropped into the hot oil. The puff puff is fried until it turns golden brown and puffs up usually taking a few minutes per batch, shape and size, puff puff can be made in various shapes and sizes. The most common shape is a round ball, but it can also be formed into elongated shapes or rings. The size of the puff puff can range from small bite-sized portions to larger. Palm-sized pieces, serving, puff puff is usually served warm and can be enjoyed on its own as a snack or as a dessert. It is often dusted with powdered sugar or coated with a syrup glaze for added sweetness. Puff Puff is best eaten fresh and is commonly found at street food stalls, markets, and festivals. Roasted Plantains Ripe plantains grilled or roasted until they are soft, sweet, and caramelized. Roasted plantains are a popular street food and snack in Cameroon, as well as in many other countries across Africa. Plantains are a type of starchy banana that are enjoyed in various forms, including when roasted. Here's more information about roasted plantains. Plantain selection. Plantains used for roasting are typically ripe or slightly overripe. Ripe plantains have a yellow or yellow-black skin and a softer texture, making them ideal for roasting. Preparation. The plantains are peeled and sliced into desired shapes, such as thick rounds or lengthwise strips. Some variations leave the skin intact while making a lengthwise incision to allow steam to escape during the roasting process. Roasting method. The plantain slices are then roasted over an open flame, on a grill, or in an oven until they become soft, sweet, and caramelized. The direct heat source helps to create a slightly charred and smoky flavor while cooking the plantains. Serving, roasted plantains can be enjoyed as a snack on their own or as a side dish to accompany various meals. They can be served hot or at room temperature. Roasted plantains pair well with savory dishes, such as grilled meat or fish, 
and can also be enjoyed with a sprinkle of salt or a drizzle of honey for added flavor. Variations, depending on personal preferences and regional variations, additional ingredients may be used to enhance the flavor of roasted plantains. Some variations include brushing the plantain slices with oil or butter before roasting, sprinkling them with spices like cinnamon or nutmeg, or adding a squeeze of lime or lemon juice for a tangy twist. Cultural significance. Plantains are a staple food in Cameroon and many other African countries, and roasting them is a popular cooking method. Roasted plantains are enjoyed as a delicious street food snack, a side dish at meals, or as part of traditional celebrations and gatherings.